There's a summer camp in Olympia where kids from military families tackle deeper subjects than just s'mores and bonfires. Come for Elisa Jaffe shows us how these young campers share the bond of grief. Giggles and games temporarily silence the sorrow. I say a kid the forever. Seven-year-old Susie Salcedo shares a tragic bond with these other young campers. I don't feel like I'm the only one that had a parent die. Camp Aaron Taps offers an outlet for children who've lost a loved one in the military, a place where traditional camp activities one, two, three, throw. are coupled with grief exercises, a place where Susie feels safe sharing her pain and isn't questioned by classmates. They talk about my dad even though I don't want to talk about him because they didn't lose anyone. I like talking to people that lost someone. People like her military mentor. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Christopher Peters, whose dad died in Iraq, killed by an IED. For me to be here for her, you know, it's, I feel like it's a good, a good thing for her and for me. For a few days, these children escape and form friendships and meet military volunteers who do the same. If I guess if I had a daughter or a son and I died, I want something like this for them. U.S. Marine Shane Kipp has flown to camp on his own dime three times to mentor kids. You feel like you're part of something greater. We get a high five. And even though you might be touching just one kid, that kid might grow up later on, and then he might volunteer and touch another kid, and you create a chain. When these kids lose a loved one, they also feel the loss of their military family as well. This camp helps them reconnect and know the military hasn't forgotten them. In Olympia, Alisa Jaffe, Como 4 News.